Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a community update for January 9th, 2020. So let's get into it. Alrighty, hey, I get to make, uh, you know, a community update two days in a row because we've actually had things going on, and we actually hear from Cirilla herself. We've got a post on, or a couple posts on the official raid Discord to go over finally. So let's pull that up quick here. All right, so Cirilla posts Hi, guys, it's been a while since my last message here. You may have already seen the news in game, but I wanted to let you know here as well. We will launch times two chances to pull epics and legendaries from void shards tomorrow with the summon rush event. Keep your eye on the portal. So very cool. And then another one here just catching up on writing here for all the time that I missed guys we will need to restart the server in about 25 minutes this messed up my auto clicker overnight so thanks for that <laughs> uh, this has uh, has to do with decreasing the attack speed and HP for one of the campaign bosses the Durham forest boss on normal difficulty it just wasn't very well balanced for new players, so we fixed it. This will make the fight a bit more accessible. The downtime won't be long. So, uh, yeah, the Durham Forest, I believe, if we go to campaign, it's where the crit rate set drops. Yeah, so this one here, the crit rate set. Uh, the boss was a little bit too difficult there in normal difficulty. So, uh, that's like a very beginner type thing. Uh, you know, most people who are in the mid to end game aren't even going to notice this change. But for newer players, the boss will be a little bit easier there in Durham Forest. So, a uh, little side tangent. I wish we would know that the Times 2 rush was coming sooner. Because, like, yesterday there was a pretty decent offer for Void Shards that I didn't scoop up. If I would have known a Times 2 summon rush was coming... I would have been recommending to definitely buy that offer and I would have scooped up those 24 void shards. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I missed out on buying those shards yesterday, knowing that there's a times two event coming now. But the good news is they typically submit some uh, void shard, you know, offers with the event. So hopefully they'll be as good as the one yesterday was, but that's kind of a little side tangent. I wish we got like a week notice uh, for, for the void shards and stuff. And, and also some for people that pulled them uh yesterday like i know darth at, pulled a bunch of void shards or something he ended up getting sir nicholas so uh, i'm sure he's not too upset but you know it'd be it'd be nice to know about this stuff like a week in advance so we can kind of plan for uh summoning events and uh when she says keep your eye on the portal what that means is uh you know you want to make sure and and not pull your void shards until you can there's like the portal aesthetically changes i think there'll be like a like a purple beam shooting out of it and it'll say, you know, voids boosted. So I don't know when you're watching this video, but make sure you're waiting for both the Summon Rush event to go live. You'll see here 16 hours and 24 minutes. Make sure that is live and make sure the portal is, is boosted and it has the aesthetic of the buffed, you know, void shards. You can also, if you want to be really sure, you can go in here to uh, summon and click on the eye. And when void shards are doubled, you'll see epic is 16% and legendary is 1%. So make sure you're pulling your void shards during the event. And uh, yes, you are going to want your uh the, the most popular question is always should i pull my shards or should i wait when shards are times two you always want to pull your shards every, every void shard you have yank it because uh you don't know it could be two or three months until we get this again and it's by far the most efficient time to pull shards when you've got the x2 chance on them so definitely pull them all and hopefully we can get some good void champions during this event all right um what else is going on here the champion training tournament i went over in a couple videos don't really need to cover that again arena assault i went over in yesterday's video not a whole lot new to cover there the summon rush looks like it's going to be a legendary book an epic book and some gems for our top three rewards now they have messed this up before it's not always perfectly accurate but uh hopefully that's a pretty good representation of what we can get and uh I i'm excited to see what the requirement is here hopefully it's not too crazy because uh you hate to have to spend hundreds of dollars to complete that to get you know one legendary book or something um, and then we've got the Golem Tournament going live. Spider Tournament ended, so make sure and claim your rewards on that. You just go in here and, uh, you know, claim your groups. We should go over the global here. And this might be fun to kind of calculate. So let's figure out exactly uh, Revon. How many spider runs did this person do? So 46, 232 divided by the points acquired per spider 20 run is about 17. So this person... <laughs> did uh did 2700 runs of spider so uh let's go times 16 energy 43,500 energy that that uh this revon person about spent on the spider obviously that's not going to be perfect but yeah 2000 something spider runs 43,000 energy uh very crazy it's always fun to see exactly what's going on in the global and how crazy 
the number one global person can get but yeah pretty intense there <laughs> if we uh if we go back to the golem event i've been grinding it decently hard i'm number one in my group right now and uh globally i'm at number 27 so uh you know the golem was one i haven't grinded for a while so i'm probably gonna you know at least get the 2500 probably not go super crazy to try to get the relentless set i'll get my 2500 to 4000 somewhere in there and, and probably call it a day the rewards here i got them plugged in my sheet so we've got the 75,000 silver i didn't plug in the clan boss key a three-star chicken a day of xp 70 gems and a five-star chicken if i plug that in it's worth about six or seven dollars so uh not amazing but not bad that's worth like six or seven refills that you're going to get in uh in, in value returned to you for completing the the golem so you know it, it's all right and if you're curious golem 20 it's going to take you about 150 runs to get to the uh 2500 which is about 2300 2400 energy somewhere in there obviously not all of you are doing golem 20 so you'd have to scale it back and kind of calculate it for yourself but if you're doing golem 20 that like as as i am then that's kind of what you're looking at in terms of the amount of runs and the energy cost to get to the 2500 all right and then let me pull up the golem here and show you kind of how i'm going to be charting my sheet here all right so i've got this golem testing sheet i've been trying to dive into collecting some data on the drop rate of sets uh and what items drop and the star distribution and all that so i'm going to be doing the same with golem i've got all of my drops saved i have not you know charted them out i've just been running the golem a bunch and i'm going to wait um, the way I designed this is I plug in how many seconds it takes. It'll calculate how many hours and energy I've spent, silver gain, and the uh, dollar amount cost of the of the grind. And then it will chart all of the data. We'll see here as soon as I plug in uh, some stuff here, the, uh, the the stuff fills in and it uh, gives me some numbers. It, it kind of updates live and plugs in. And uh, I'm also going to be charting the drops of the sets here. Clear that out. So the, the sets that drop in the Ice Golem are defense reflex life crit rate offense retaliation resistance taunting and cursed and i've got these kind of slotted in as green which is the ones we're looking for when we farm that dungeon yellow is like usable but it's not you know super what we're going for and then the red is kind of like the bad drops the sets that we are just basically selling and we don't really want to hold on to so uh the good thing about the golem is we can see here three green sets is decent and uh and then we get four sets that are at least usable crit rate offense retaliation and resistance you can get value out of all of them obviously uh you know not uh as like consistent value as defense reflex and life i think reflex is a little bit undersold it's a pretty good set uh you know getting those reduced cooldowns can can be really handy especially on characters that only have one cooldown like a bad alcazar we've only got the a2 reflex set is really good on a champion like that so i'll be charting all that and that's kind of the opinions on the golem let's go over the shop and see if anything new is coming through today let me get the calculator back out here um special skill pack this is a this is an offer that we see come through like once or twice a week or at least i do uh the the offer on the right is okay if if you're short on books and and, and short on gems it's not a bad offer it's just not great value it used to be a lot better i think they used to give out like 3300 gems instead of 3000 and then it was a good offer that i was buying pretty consistently i haven't bought this one for a while uh, bonus offer pack i went over this in yesterday's video this is an amazing offer i'm probably going to scoop this up um, if they don't submit a good void offer, I might scoop it up soon during the X2 voids, but otherwise I'm, I, I like to wait on this and kind of see the spending habits develop and, uh, and look for the right opportunity to jump in on this one. Uh, this is a, this is a big chicken offer here. Let me plug this in. So 40, 80, 120, 160 brews. Let me clear this out here. Um, and I'm very stuffed up. I apologize. I'm like sick again. This winter has been just brutal on me. Three million, um, nine hundred gems. Uh, ten five star chicken. And is that everything? Three million one sixty nine hundred and ten. I think that's everything. So yeah, uh, this offer is gonna grade out to what? Like yellow. No, red, a 1.24. So definitely one that I'm going to be recommending to stay away from. So not a whole lot to go over there. $15 Conqueror pack. I've ranted about this in many different videos. Not a whole lot to go over there. Divine offense set. Um, 
Divo is not really that great of a set. It's it's okay for like your damage dealers, but I would much rather have you know speed or or, or life steal or or immortal even uh, offense. Divo, it's all right. It's not worth a twenty five dollar gamble for five star legendary set in my opinion, so not a whole lot to go over there. That's one that I'm probably going to lean towards not recommending. So uh, yeah, that kind of does it for this video. It's nice to hear from Cirilla again and know that Polarium is back in the building and we've got a times two event coming up, which is always an exciting time to uh, be a raid player. So hopefully we can uh, pull a bunch of void shards and summon a bunch of good void champs. So that'll be fun. And yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.